King Benjamin, he's going to help them understand better what it means to be in a covenant relationship with Christ. In verse 7, And now because of the covenant which ye made, ye shall be called the children of Christ, his sons and his daughters. For behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you, or given birth to you, right? For you say that your hearts are changed through faith on his name. Therefore, ye are born of him and have become his sons and his daughters. This is, again, a theme that we see often in the Book of Mormon. We grow up singing, I am a child of God, and we are, right? We are all children of God. And there's one sense in which our spirits are just born, the children of, of heavenly parents. But there's another sense in which we become the children of Christ. We become the child of Christ through making covenants and entering into a covenant relationship with him, receiving that remission of sins and having our hearts changed. So it's interesting to think about these two different ways in which we are related as sons and daughters to divine beings. Is this, would you say that this is kind of like what Alma teaches about being born again? Is that kind of on the same yes. line? Okay. Very much so. When we're baptized, right, we come up out of that water, new creatures born again, begotten of Christ, okay. his, his sons and his daughters. And then he goes on through the rest of this chapter, help them understand what, what this means. When we are born of our mother and father, we take their name upon us. Mm -hmm. And in the same way, when we are born of Christ and become his sons and daughters, we take the name of Christ upon us. In fact, we write it in our hearts.